I want to welcome you to this update for the First Presbyterian Church of Birmingham, Michigan, Everybody's Church, for Thursday, the 28th of July, 2022. I am here in, in front of the Donation Center uh, because this is where backpacks are being dropped off for Orchard Family Services. We need 100 backpacks. We probably have maybe a couple of dozen. So if you are out this week and have the opportunity to pick up a backpack uh, or two or three or four, um, pick them up, bring them in, drop them here, and uh, you'll make a difference in the life of a child. And especially in this day and time when families are so strapped to pay their bills, to have someone else provide them with a backpack for their children for school is a great and gracious gift. The second announcement is that on the 14th of August, that's Sunday the 14th after church, we will be having a celebration of the work and ministry of Larry Malover with us. Larry has been our building manager for the last nine years. In fact, he will retire on the 17th, which is the ninth anniversary of his arrival here. Larry has overseen numerous huge projects in this church. He has uh, fixed lots of things and just helped us modernize uh, this entire plant. And so we hope you will come and celebrate his ministry. And if you want to make a donation to say thank you, you can uh, do it online or you can just send in a check and put Larry Malover in the memo line. Next, this past Saturday, the session voted to approve what's called the mission information forms for the pastor position and for the Christian educator and AIM position. What this means is that the, a MIF, a mission information form, is like a church resume. And now both of those church resumes will go to the Presbytery Committee on Ministry. The Committee on Ministry will read them over, vote on them, hopefully approve both of them. And then at that moment we get to upload them into the national database system where they will go live. And when they're live, ministers and educators all across the country will be able to see them, send their resumes in. Uh, the, there's a computer matching, and the computer uh, will automatically match people with us, and our committees will begin to get names and, and can look at folks. So the process is moving, and I'm going to keep you updated on where the process stands. Finally, your moment of Presbyterianism. Why are we called Presbyterians? It comes from the Greek word presbyteros, which means elder. And we're Presbyterians because we are a church guided and governed by elders. This is who we are. And so the official language is that a church needs officers, meaning it needs elders to help vision, guide, and govern the congregation. There are two reasons for this, for John Calvin, why he decided we needed to be an elder-led church. First, it's biblical. Uh, the fact is that if you go back from Moses, um, chose elders, uh, every place Paul went and created churches, the Apostle Paul, he had elders. And so it is a biblically-based um, way of governing oneself. Also, Calvin didn't trust simply having one person in charge. Uh, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, Absolutely. And so for Calvin, uh, the best way a church could govern itself is through its elders. And always remember, the elder nominating committee, who also nominates the deacons, um, who have the ministry of compassion and service, it nominates both of those, and it nominates new people for the nominating committee, and you all elect them. I don't choose them. Uh, Presbytery doesn't choose them. Uh, this is a pro uh, like, a, like a republic. <laughs> and so you all choose those elders and deacons and the elders then meet together and they help uh, guide, vision, and lead this congregation. So a church needs officers. That's your Presbyterian moment <laughs> for this week. Here's my phone number, 210-508-0184. 210 uh, give me a call if you need anything. Would love to chat, talk, have coffee, um, lunch, whatever. Uh, just know that I am around. So I hope you get to get out and enjoy some of this gorgeous day. You can sort of 
see the early sun, sunrise behind me. And oh, and by the way, if you don't know where this station is, these are the south doors and the park, large parking lot, and here is the Eagle Entrance, and you can come here and drop off your backpacks. Get out and enjoy this day, and may God's blessings be with you now and always.